is, is such a big thing as far as everybody is you know looking at that and talking about that the tech censorship and all that stuff okay so if you want to know what's really going on this is what's really going on everybody at this point is on the computers everybody has a computer cell phone all the all the stuff is digitized they're trying to digitize everybody's life it's very amazing what you can do with the computers all this great amazing stuff and connect with everybody so everybody has kind of digitized their life in there the pictures the stuff the connection everything what you what you believe in or what what you say you believe in or what you typed in there or whatever um, it's all digitized there it's all in the computer there so what's going on so that's going on so your contents, yeah. So then that's what's going on. But also, not just people connecting on your personal stuff is on there. Also, what's going on is that the digital and all of this computers and all of this fucking stuff has allowed the interchanging of all this scientific information, which is basically scientific information, it's scientific and also oh, spiritual enlightenment. And, and all of the secrets of the universe and all this stuff, everything, the aliens, the ancient aliens, the spiritual connection, the, the this and this, all the positive, the positive stuff and everything like that is all on there and everything as well. But that's not the main thing. The main point is that everything is all digitized there. So they're basically saying, like, whatever, they, you know, the establishment or whatever, or the government or whatever, are basically saying, like, you know, if you're not down with this digital stuff, you know, you're stupid, you're, you're left behind, you need to be down with all this digitizing of everything. Okay? And they're trying to take it to the next level. What is the next level? The next level is that they track everything and you just swipe your hand with your little RFID chip inside, embedded in your hand. You swipe your hand and they know exactly who you are and they open the door for you and you get to, you know, go party and buy stuff for free or whatever. You know, it's kind of like the digital entryway. So, you know, and so what we're talking about, we're talking about some of these agencies, we're talking about big tech companies, surveillance, and kind of all that stuff, having access to people's private information, which is true, about who you are, about what all of your, your photographs, your family photographs, it's private information. So and they're trying to digitize that all into a little chip where they, it's all through the Jewish Zionist connection or anybody who just says, it's better, why are you not doing it, why are you not doing it? You just swipe your hand and you get all the free food. What's wrong with you? So that's what's going on. That is really kind of, you know, the Republican and Democrat, that stuff is going on as well, other debates. But what's really going on is that everything is being digitized like that. So it's what Eisenhower said. The military industrial complex, if you let them get the upper hand, now they've digitized you, they've, they've microchipped you, and um, everywhere you go, they're like, okay, you're on camera over here, and you know, you need to step back into your zone. You know, you can't get into sector B. You have to be in sector A. You know, you're only qualified for sector A. And we keep telling you, you can't go over here. You're in sector B. You gotta be in sector A. You know, because you try, can track you everywhere. If you make a credit card purchase, boom, they know where you're at. All this kind of bullshit. You know, tracking people, everything. So, you know, the next step is make a little chip and all your stuff is they can track you, all your digital data is all trackable, every, all of that data from the past 20 years, whatever you put in the computer is all tracked through you, through a tiny chip, wherever you go. So that's the next generation of that stuff. So the point is that, oh, it's so easy, it's so convenient. Yeah, it's so easy, it's so convenient. But, you know, there's no privacy. They know where you go, they know where you're shopping, they say, oh, you can't purchase that, oh, we already know where you're going to purchase a gun, and uh, you cannot purchase the gun to defend your family anymore, you know, you got to rely on the government, because, uh, you know, you used to have a track record where you were drunk, and you were, you know, uh, some bad parties back there, we don't trust you with purchasing a gun, so government is going to tell you, you cannot do that. So, it's all the digital, you know, stuff. So... The point is, if people just say, oh, that's what everybody does, you know, then you have to be, you know, everybody has the chip or whatever, then that's what you're going to get. 
They're going to know everything about you, see everything. It's all control and surveillance kind of thing. But if people say, hey, you know, I don't admit, I don't um, allow, you know, I don't, we, we make a document that says, you know, we don't allow, we don't allow, um, you know, the, these guys to uh, look at our family photographs, for God's sakes, you know, that we don't allow these guys to look at who we're socializing with. We don't allow these guys to uh, gather our data and know what we're working on. Why should they know that? None of their business. So that's the next step. And then we say, no, none of your fucking business. Those video surveillance cameras, take it down. It shouldn't be looking at the people. And, uh, you know, we're not going to... I'll do it the slow way. It's the slow and the long way versus the fast way. The fast way is you swipe your chip and they let you in. They know everything about you. They're staring at you. They know everything. If you go the slow way, punch in your credit card number the old way, then there's no chip because you're still typing in the numbers of your credit card and see if it goes through with the credit card. If it doesn't go through with the credit card and no no credit cards going through, um, then you, you pay with cash. People have got to have cash. You've got to have cash. If it's a cashless society, you're fucked. Because then, what if the chip says it's not going through? People just start scratching their heads. It's not going through. And meanwhile, behind you in line, there's like 10 people like, can you get out of line? Just step aside here. Step aside, okay? Is other people need to be shopping here. And say, well, what about, I can't get any food. What's not going through? It's not going through. What can I do? Have a nice day. Bye. Or you get nothing. You get fucked. So that's kind of what's going on. The government, they know that some of these shadow guys, they want that control and stuff. Some of the power-hungry guys know that. But most of them understand, like, you're right, you know, you're right. A lot of people know about that, and you're right. You know, we, it's not something that anybody wants, because then, every person, the government is people too. Any one of those people could be fucked. If they don't like the way you're dressing, if they don't like what you're working on, if they don't like the music you're playing, it sounds too uh, out there, it sounds too uh, Alex Jonesy, it sounds too revolutionary, then they say, you know, you're not coming to work anymore, we, we, we just don't, you, you've been laid off yesterday, we got word yesterday, you're just not welcome here anymore. Wow, no more money, no more nothing, you're just, you're just fucked by the system. So, that's why you have to have cash. If the card's not going through, credit card is declined. It's not just going to be because of no money. It's going to be because the system doesn't allow you to. you got to be able to draw out some paper bills, and, and that way you can get food, you can handle your transaction, you can pay your rent, and you're still in business. Because that could also be the card system for your rent, too. So that's what's going on. Okay, The gathering of the data and the electronic surveillance and, and all that kind of stuff. So the bottom line is keep cash in the society. All of this shit happened about a hundred years ago, less than a hundred years ago, in the 1930s with the Hitler and with the Jewish. It all happened before. That's what's going on. As people are realizing the banking system is corrupted and rigged, the Jewish are, uh, Zionists are in the banking system and they can crash the economy of countries and the Hitler was angry about that, so that's the connection there. All this shit happened before. And the whole and that's why he was so angry at the Jewish the same reason today there's a lot of people angry at the Jewish because they're in the banking system money rigging and, and it's pulling it to their favor and keeping the poverty going and putting all these entertainment and stuff out while leaving the people with nothing it all happened before the net movement toward nationalism we see national pride building national pride is building up with American we're gonna be clean proper beautiful Americans you can see the connection to the Hitler, clean Aryan race of the Germans, not corrupted by the banking and all of these uh, gangsterism type of stuff that's corrupting our society today. You can see the connection there. So all the stuff is repeating. Okay, World War One was in 1914 in the teens. World War Two was in the 30s, and the technology was upped. The same war, World War One was the same kind of war as the World War Two. If they can get a World War III going in 20 or 30 years or whatever, it'll be the same thing again. Exact clone of the World War I, clone of the World War II, clone of the World War III. Except the technology keeps getting up higher. Now they have all kind of, you know, uh, sensing equipment with, with infrared weapons and stuff, a little technology ever, you know. In World War II, they had all kind of rapid-firing weaponry. In World War I, it was still 
the single load shot load gun where you're single loaded and the little thing that clicks in we have like seven bullets in. and before that there was a war where they had to put the actual bullets in one at a time so each war is just it's the same kind of operation this is the secret each war is the same kind of operation the same and the population reduction in the camps the same operation then the same operation again and then the same operation again but the technology goes up higher and who has the government the military they have the most technology they have the best technology they have the most weapons the most bullets compared to people uh, people you have to be uh, a redneck guy with lots of guns packing and then it's only one guy and they already keep an eye on that guy and uh, they don't want him uh, distributing the guns and stuff and it's it's not it's it's a no contest situation and some people think that in america if there would be real trouble that the people would have it'll be a joke you know uh, for the government to, uh, you know, the government would not have a chance. The, everybody's armed with rifles. If you live in the cities, it's not the case. If you live in the countryside, it might be possible that, you know, that everybody has a rifle and they can defend themselves, possibly. But in general, the government has the upper hand. They have army, they have the, the fucking military, they have the army. The cops have a lot of guns. If they could cordon the shit off, you know, it wouldn't be easy because a lot of people would be angry pushing them out of the way. But in some ways, they have a lot of weaponry, organization, mobility, and a lot of stuff. But in generally, they would be definitely overpowered. But that stuff is not happening. But the point is, during a World War One situation, during World War Two, which is a duplicate, during 30 years from now, World War Three, they just have the more technology. The same, the same kind of an operation that would probably go on. It's just higher technology. Plus, this time, the Chinese would be involved. In the 30s, the Chinese army was like nothing. Now, they've got a real army, and they got real aircraft. They have the fucking clones of the F-22, F-22 Raptor, the fucking high-tech uh, fighter plane. they got the same thing. They're like millions of them lined up on the runway. They have underground runways. China finally has the first aircraft carrier, and they're probably popping out a lot more aircraft carriers. So it's the same thing, is it, you know? Except the technology goes up every time. It's better technology means faster to kill people. Uh, rifles which shoot out a million bullets, as it compared to just ten bullets, it's just even more, even more lethal ways of killing. That's what the technology does. Back in the Middle Ages, you had to cut someone with a sword and ride on horses. That doesn't, it's not nothing compared to flamethrowers. The Nazis created flamethrowers. They just burn everything from 50 foot away. And that was a big, big advancement. And the Nazis created the machine gun. They put a thing in it. The machine could, could kill 50 guys in less than a minute. And they just pile the bodies up into these big uh, open pits. And World War One was the beginning of the of the the beginning of the rotary weapons and the beginning of the reloading weapons and, and the first machine guns and stuff like that so it's not happening but 30 years from now if there is another being war it'll be kind of it might be a clone of the same kind of world war one world war two it's a it's the same kind of operation they try to run so we have to educate people about it make sure to shut these guys down these evil leaders and make sure there's 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 freedom type legislation that lets people say, hey, if I don't want to join the army, I don't. There's no draft or anything like that. And people have to have weapons. If people come to your home, try to uh, you know uh, draft you into a war. You can say, hey, get off the fucking land, and you can shoot them if they come on your land. And they'll be running away. They'll fucking run away. They're not going to come back to your house. Um, because it's your your property, your land, and whatever the fuck you say goes. That's it. That's the way it works. That's the American way. And that's the way it'll always be. And my dad always said that if the Jewish in the 1930s were to have their weapons, they could have defended themselves. They would never go to camps. The fact that they had nothing, they were disarmed. And if you look at history, it's probably true that Hitler probably collected the guns. He was not allowed to own guns and stuff. There you go. That's the reason why. They try to collect the guns first. 
if they can collect the guns, then they know the population is disarmed, and now they have to go along with whatever the plan is. Otherwise, step back, you can't do nothing. There's nothing they can do, because they have no way to enforce it. So, make sure nobody collects your guns, and you're still, you're in charge, and that's it.